you join me as I'm literally on my way to pick up my new Mark II Focus RS. Not one that I planned on buying, but the deal came along. It was too good to pass up. £16,000, not a lot of money for an RS, let alone a, an Ultimate Green RS. So we're in the Hilux, we've got the trailer on the back. Next time you see me, it's going to be with the car. I may regret this one. Let's see. The crack is that bad that the camera's focusing on it. <laughs> Raw dog it right in. Raw dog it in. You got this. <laughs> That's well done. I struggled to just drive in that gate earlier. It's all right. Here she is. 2009 Ultimate Green Ford Focus RS. It runs, kind of, kind of. Yummy. Debatable. Is that just wrap? Oh, shit in it. Bottle lemon. So we've got two main problems here. The clutch is gone, so the car moves slightly. Slave cylinder's very dodgy. And if we get down low here, it's actually dropped its boost pipe off as well. So we've had to disconnect the math to get it running. I learned that though, she's a minter. Just unlock it, shouldn't we? Oh, bonnet struts, look at that. Right, oh fuck. Oh, there's a tow and eye. We may need this. Clutch is down. Hello? It's alright. That's got a steep ramp, man. I right, will I try and suss the clutch out? I feel like a learner again. Now I'm not being dramatic when I say getting that on there was an absolute mission. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's on coilovers and uh, God knows how much lower it is than standard. Bloody low, let's just say that. Bumpers actually come off a little bit, but it's all right. It's going to be coming off for some jobs anyway. But there we go. She is on the trailer. Thought I'd talk you around some of the mods that's been done to it. So I've got Rotogrid wheels. Not entirely sure if I'm a big fan of these. Oh, the jury's out in that one, let's see. Got K-Sport big brakes as well. Uh, it's got a stage three AirTech intercooler on there. Looking a little bit tired, we can refresh that. It's got a hybrid turbo as well. You're jealous, ain't you? I'm oh Ah, rust. What rust? Fords don't rust, silly. <laughs> Paint's amazing. Look at that in the sun. That is gold, isn't it? That is Goldie. Anyway, let's get home. Let's do the McDonald's drive through. Onto the ramp we go. Yes, after McDonald's. Are you confident in your bondage abilities? My girlfriend would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with, with that guy's car? Thing is, you could just be stealing a yes. car and he's just going to wave you out. <laughs> Should I take a blue one? Purple one. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. Oh, guys loading and unloading low cars. My God, what a nightmare. So the ignition is on. If I turn it off, it goes off for a moment and then fires right back on. Off, back on. Ignition won't go off. Put there, hang guy. Everything else looks fine. Fucking hell. I think that's the turbo. See the see the bump the turbo there, do you drop? Oh that's yeah, see the oil bit. Yeah. Oh aye aye. This is coming from above that. But it looks dry above it. Welcome to the underside of the budget RS, where it's all looking a little bit oily. You can see 
the hard pipe off the turbos. Definitely seen better days. Gonna get one of them ordered up. Looks like we might have a wee oil leak coming out of the turbo. To be determined. I think we need to clean everything up first of all and then get it running right and just determine exactly where that oil's coming from. But all in all, not too bad. Welcome to what is the following day. I'm still not over trying to get that RS on the trailer. I'm just about to hop in the R8, head up and do a bit of work on the RS. Now, if you're interested in seeing that, it's gonna be in episode two. So do hit that subscribe button, give this video a like and drop a comment below wishing us some luck. I think we might need it on this one. One last thing before I go, however, obviously goes without saying, I'd done a proper HPI check on that RS before I bought it and in my opinion, the best one to use is vehiclescore.co.uk because when you first log on, you can view the good and bad points about any car you're interested in buying for completely free. Now, obviously, they do paid HPI reports as well. I really recommend you do one of those. I'm going to put a 15% discount voucher on screen now. Use that. There's no excuses and get yourself a good car, hopefully in a little better condition than my RS. Wish us luck. I'll see you in episode two. Ooh.